Marginal Costing Part 1 AS Accounting 9706 Crazy Cambridge What is Crazy Cambridge about? Here I provide IGCSC videos as well as AS videos. It's based on the Cambridge syllabus and the IGCSC subjects include business, economics, accounting, biology, physics, maths, and English as second language. And the AS videos uh, include business, economics, and accounting. I also provide examination tips and few past paper questions which I solve. So please do go and subscribe. So this is my first video on AS accounting and this is on marginal costing which is part of the cost accounting section. We're going to first look at what marginal cost exactly means. So marginal cost is the extra cost which is incurred to produce one extra unit. So now this marginal cost can also be called as a variable cost. Now let's look at what variable cost means. Variable costs are the costs that can change with the level of output. So like if the output is increasing in your firm, the costs can also increase based upon the level of output. Whereas another type of cost is known as fixed cost. Fixed cost is costs that do not change with the level of output. So if you're having, if you have to pay for rent, a good example for a fixed cost is rent. Even if the um, even if the operations are being held in the uh, firm or not, you have to pay rent for the firm. So it, that does not change whether the output increases or decreases. Now you have total cost, which is divided into two types of cost. Total cost is divided into fixed cost and variable cost. So variable cost is also known as the marginal cost. And marginal cost is what? It is the extra cost to produce one extra unit. Now see, total variable cost per unit will always remain the same, which means per unit, the variable cost will always remain fixed. But the total variable cost, which means everything added up, will remain variable. So what this means is, I'll give you an example. For example, for variable cost per unit, the cost to produce one um, one toy, for example, is three dollars. But now you have to see what your variable cost is. Your variable cost for six units of toys is going to be eighteen dollars because per unit it is dollar three. So if you notice, every unit of toy has only dollar three. You will not charge more for more or less for that one unit. It will always remain dollar three. So that way it is called fixed. But when the variable cost, the total variable cost, which means added up cost of a certain number of units, for example, six units of toys is 18. But if I increase it, no, if I decrease it to five, so three fives are 15. So it was like very variable, it's variable. It can change with the level of output. The cost will change. The total cost will change, but the cost per unit will remain same, dollar three. Now we're gonna look at what semi-variable cost means. This is when it's a combination of variable and fixed costs. Both of them are present. So an example is call time, for example, for 150 minutes, it is 150 dirhams. This is just an example, okay? 150 minutes, it is 150 dirhams. Now, this is a fixed cost. Every time you have, even if you do not use 150 minutes, you have to pay 150 dirhams for the 150 minutes. This is a fixed cost. But if you have only used 75 minutes, you still have to pay 150. So this means it's a fixed cost. But if you use more than 150 minutes, they say, that you have to pay two dirhams per minute charged. So this is an example of variable cost. So every per minute charged over 150 minutes, you have to pay two dollars. So here is a variable cost. So in this example, you see you have fixed cost, which is 150 dirhams for 150 minutes. You have variable cost, which is two dirhams for more than 150 minutes. So this is known as a semi-variable cost. Now let's look at what contribution is. Contribution is when every unit of 
recovery of the fixed cost. Here is written fixed rate, but it is a recovery of fixed cost. So every unit you produce, a certain value which you will be calculating is going to be used for the recovery of the fixed cost. Now how do you calculate contribution? Contribution is equal to the sales minus the variable cost. And how do you calculate the total contribution? So for example, you have the contribution per unit. You will multiply the contribution per unit into the number of units, which is the sales volume. Now let's look at what, contribu uh, what contribution to sales ratio is. So we're going to see how to calculate it. Contribution to sales ratio is equal to the contribution divided by the sales multiplied by 100. So in this one, to find a contribution, you can do sales minus variable cost. That will find a contribution. After that, you divided it by the sales and then multiply by 100 and you will get the contribution to sales ratio. Now you can use this contribution to sales ratio to, to calculate contribution. So how will you calculate contribution with the contribution to sales ratio? You will do sales multiplied by the contribution to sales ratio. Now here is the marginal costing statement which you need to be really thorough with. Now you see first you start with sales. So sales, you're going to write it. Then you will minus variable cost. What is included in variable cost is direct materials, direct labor, direct expenses, variable overheads, administrative overheads. And once you minus these variable, the total variable cost from the sales, you will get your contribution. Then what you do is if you have to find a net profit, you have to do contribution minus the fixed overheads. The fixed overheads will include the fixed costs like advertising. So once you minus the fixed overheads from contribution, you will get the net profit. Now remember when you are doing the marginal costing statement, make sure you make two columns, which is for per unit and one is for total. So put the per unit values and then multiply it with the sales volume to find the total of it. But you find the per unit only for variable cost. When it comes to fixed cost, never find the per unit. Find a per unit only for variable cost and not the fixed cost. Now this is the end of part 1 for marginal costing. Stay tuned for part 2 and part 3 which will include, which will include a break even point, the way to draw, uh, to draw it and lots more. Thank you for watching Crazy Cambridge. Do subscribe to my channel, like and share the video.